Purinju has a lot of fats uh, and that's a gr great stress buster for him. So let's go out and check that out as well. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is uh, these are Purinju's pets. Uh, these are these are these are emus, uh, Purinju. Yeah, these are emus. I okay. have few of them. Three of them. So yeah. as you can see, and uh, uh, so so what do you call them, uh, Purinju? I just call emus. They yeah, they just come and you know they ask to take food like that. Okay. And when did you get them? This is uh, last uh, seven eight years. I'm I've been okay. answering. They lay eggs, and you know they have got very uh, very big uh, green colored okay. egg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's very interesting. So they so eat all these grass kind of things. Okay. Then, uh, but where did this, where did this idea come from of uh, you know getting emus? Uh, and I, as we speak, I would like to feed them more actually. <laughs> <laughs> where, where where did this idea come from? Yeah, you know this is I love basically the birds and animals. Mm. Uh, uh, you know, at the nature, mm. uh, the farming. Mm. So that's why we have got cow and uh, uh, many other birds. You know, mm -hmm. uh, pre the peacocks and mm. ducks, geese, many yeah. of them. They 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 must be stress busters as well. Yeah, yeah. It's it's very very nice to stay with them. You know, mm -hmm. to uh, to talk to them, mm -hmm. communicate. They they talk to you. Yeah, they talk to me. <laughs> Okay. Every animal talking. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you plan to bring more home? Yeah, it's, it's asking for something. Okay. Here. This one is actually better. I mean, this one is more well behaved than yeah, this one. It's a female. Okay. Uh, so that explains this, maybe. Yeah, could be. <laughs> <laughs> this this one's a bit aggressive compared yeah. to compared to this one. This one's uh, taking it very nicely. Yeah. I mean, can I? Yeah, and just try sometimes it. Oh, uh, no. Stranger. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'm a bit this of a stranger. This is my love you. <laughs> okay, and you also have uh, some uh, some rabbits here. Yeah, yeah, some you. small animals, rabbits. And they've got a cage there, a few of them. Okay. And uh, so, so there's one rabbit, uh, as you can see. Uh, okay, that. Uh, it, is there going to be a problem? I think they are trying to. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, and there's one more rabbit there. Yeah. <laughs> this is the paddy field where, where we normally work. Yes, yes. Yes. So there's a small tiller. That's what we use for the uh, cultivation. Yes. So, so Parinju, uh, tell us a bit more about this, uh, you know, all these pets and, uh, you know, uh, how did you get into all of this? See, this is the place I'm born and brought up mm. and, uh, you know, I have a lot of... Uh, a liking to this place. Just being in this place itself gives a lot of uh, relaxation and peace of mind. Um, and I, I have a passion for uh, farming, to be frank. You know, I love the vegetables and fruits kind of thing to make our own at home. Mm -hmm. uh, so in Kerala has that habit. You know, typically a house in Kerala will have a few ducks and hens, mm -hmm. a cow. It's a typical Kerala style of living. Mm -hmm. I think most of the houses in Kerala villages you will mm -hmm. see a cow. Okay. And you know you get nice good milk. It's it's declining, in fact. A lot of people being busy with their uh, you know mm. profession, and the new generation is getting into many other things. So, but still, a lot of people love to uh, hold a cow at home, having a few hens, mm. using their eggs. Yes, uh, I think it's something. And a dog. So Kerala is very special about it. Okay, and you'll catch more of that over the weekend. Uh, was a great stress buster, but we must focus back on market, Sonia. A lot of stocks surging now. Aditya Birla Group stocks. Let's just pull some of them out intraday.